Hello. Hello, everybody. I'm player two. Rubbler one. And, uh, we got two more endings to do. Welcome back to nine. Nine, nine. Doors, people, hours. Yes. Last time, we've got submarine ending. Everyone died. Mostly through stab wounds. Yes. And, uh, we only got two more routes to do. Then we can get the true end there. But go. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. One, two, three, four. All right. So, Seven pieces. Door six. So, just to catch you up on um, the timeline here, uh, people believe Snake is dead. Uh, G more G mod clipping noises. <laughs> Door six. Door six. I want to go through door six. That's a problem. None of these teams will be able to go through the doors they want. Clover and I chose door one. Lotus and I chose door two. That's not enough people to open a numbered door, however. The digital routes don't match up either. We've got similar problems. June, Junpei, and I want to go through door six. But our digital route is five. If we're going to open that door, we need a one. Damn, what are we gonna do now? What are we going to do? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Why don't Seven and Lotus go through door one with me? <sighs> uh. What about me? Isn't that obvious? Wasn't one of the teams just complaining that they didn't have a one? You mean I should join Santa's team? Yes. Huh. I understand. I'll go through door six then. If we do as Clover has suggested, we can all pass through a numbered door and no one will be left behind. Nice. This seems to be the most reasonable solution. Seven, Lotus, what do you guys think? And no one goes through door two, the murder one. Mm. So we're all good. I don't have a problem with it. Me either. All right then, we're good to go. See you later. Wait, Clover, don't move on your own. Oh, I'll be going too then. Yeah, be careful. We should get going as well. So we got Ace, June, and Santa. This is E deck. There should be a door at the end of the hall. All right, let's go. Here it is. You guys ready? Yeah, then let's get to it. I found it! It's right there! Uh, <gasps> it stopped. Yes! It stopped! Whew. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. You got that right. How many times have we heard that line? Hellhole, I'm taking a nice long vacation. We did hear that line before. Mm -hmm. Huh. <laughs> I agree. All right, let's go. Where are we? This door looks heavy. But it's not locked. I'm opening it. Mm. Whoa, what the hell is this? This has to be the biggest room so far. The ceiling is pretty high, too. Huh. Could be two stories. Maybe even more. This space could be utilizing the entire length of the ship. What's that huge Kamaboko-looking building in the middle? Kamaboko? <laughs> well, I guess that's as good of a description of it as any. I see stairs, so we may as well head over to them. Oh, um, what's, what's a Kamaboko? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this section's barely wide enough to fit one person. You're right. Whoa, you can't even tell the shape when you're this close. Let's check out the other side, too. This looks to be the steam engine room. 
The steam engine room? The engine yes, room. Yes, that thing that looks like a cross-section of a mushroom is the boiler. Do you see the three round doors near the bottom? Coal is put into those and burned, which heats the water, producing steam. The same thing that drives a steam engine. This one is simply somewhat larger. I see. It doesn't appear to be running right now. All right, let's split up. Hey, what's wrong? Are you all right? Oh yeah, remember that one plot point? Ah, yes. That happened like the one time? Yes. Hey, June. Jumpy. You, oh, you're, you're really warm. Is your fever coming back? Yes, yes, it probably is. But I'm fine. Please, don't worry about me. I just need to rest. And I'll be fine. Okay, okay, uh, here, sit down, uh, careful. Thank you. Ace, Santa. Yes. Right. All right, let's get started. Hang in there, June. I'm gonna get you out of here real soon. Okay, steam engine room. Yeah. Yeah, so it's looking like room, novel, room, novel, no. novel. Mm. Mm. It's a square hole. Square hole. Where does the circle go? That's right, the square hole. Okay, so we gotta find something that goes in there. Move hole. Okay. Golden gear. Each of them has a gear. Bronze gear. Silver gear. Okay, so probably then bronze, silver, gold. Yeah. Or something. Look, Ace, some kind of snowman's secret meeting. Those are just bags of sand. Use them as a counterweight. Man, you're too serious. So this is the exit. <coughs> Excuse you. get a thing. Yeah, yes, we gotta fit something in fresh. You know, other than the great depression. The great the, that gap, that height, that angle, it's perfect. Perfect? Perfect for what? Whatever, just bring Clover here right now. Tell her she needs to walk up and down these stairs. Uh, why? Santa. I don't get it. <sighs> Santa. What the hell? Sand. Nope. Can't do anything with the gears. 
Oh wait. Ah. a hot dog down a hallway. What? Trying to put the wheel back in. Okay, so now we have wheel. What does wheel do? Oh, that just brings us here. Oh wait, oh, this is a new winch, okay. the box has reached the floor yeah June's down over by there she doesn't seem to be improving well of course not she's not gonna just get better right away you know it'll take time what could be causing this I wonder illness perhaps nah it's got to be exhaustion she gets dropped into some weird ass ship forced to play some messed up game if you think about it it's a lot weirder that we aren't freaking out just like her you know so you're saying we're abnormal? Yeah, we're just running around this room, solving all these puzzles like it's just business as usual. How the hell could you call that normal? We're just guinea pigs. A guinea pig? You mean like a lab rat? You mean we're being used for some sort of experiment? Is that what you're saying? Dunno. But it does seem like a possibility, you know? Mm. You know? Speaking of experiments... Oh, here we go. There was this experiment some scientists did with rats. First, they took a squarish C-shaped tank and filled it with enough water that the rats could drown in it. The tank has two eggs. Just to make it easy, we'll call one A and the other B. Exit A is pitch black, so dark even a rat can't see anything. But exit B is electrified, which means the rat can't leave through it. So. What would a rat do if it was put in this situation? Which exit would the rat choose? B, of course. The rat has no way of knowing that exit B is electrified. Exactly. The rat goes to exit B. Of course, like I said, it's electrified, which means the rat can't get out that way. So, after a lot of trial and error, the rat finally finds exit A. Hmm. I can't say that's very interesting or relevant. It's simply the story of a laboratory experiment. You're right. It isn't very interesting. Yet. Hmm? See, these scientists repeated this experiment over and over, using hundreds of different rats over several generations. This produced some surprising results. With each generation, the rats took less time to find the correct exit. Eventually, but that wasn't that the same field. experiment was conducted. No, on second thought, the rats in this second experiment began the trials with significantly faster times than the first rats in the initial one. These rats weren't related to the others and had never even come in contact with them. 
And yet, they all easily found their way to exit A. What did it mean? Are you suggesting something like they were passing information? <laughs> I'm not any kind of scientist, but I do know that story's true. Hmm. Come on, let's get. And we gotta get the hell. Hey, how wait. many There's morphogenetic what? field examples have we had? Like handful. Like, handful. like why did six. they use that tank for the? Huh? Well, I mean, mm -hmm. it seems like you could conduct the same experiment without the water. They could have just used a dry box, you know? If they needed to put some bait by ex I mean, do they really have to make it? You know, the word emergency comes from the same root as the word emerge. You ever think about that? Huh? Well, an emergency is something urgent. And to emerge means to sort of come out, or appear, or rise out of something else. So what's going to emerge in an emergency? Inspiration. Inspiration? Yeah. Think about it. When the chips are down, either you crack or your mind focuses and pulls up what you need. So in an emergency, your real potential emerges. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's why the rats had to drown. They had to be in danger. There had to be an emergency for inspiration to emerge. Oh. Interessante. <laughs> Hmm. Alright, so let me go back down. Give me the box. Give me the give me the give me the give me the box. Give me the box. On the, the side. There. Control panel for something. Oh, oh. <laughs> No, not there. Yes. Boink, boinky. Push a button. Sort of ignition. Do we have to fill all of them? No. Some sort of ignition device? Maybe the panel. Go! Oh, right, because this is. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boink. Gears are going. But the hum. Give me the thing. Give me, give me the thing. Give me that shit. Oh, we know where that goes. Give me those. Give me that shit. And finally, give me this one. 
And now, I think all we got to do is just put them in. In the correct order. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she does, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boyo, you're smart. That was light work. Hell, yeah. Puzzles. And that's it. You found it. Yes! The door's open! All right, Junpei. Why don't you go get Jun now? Santa and I will keep an eye on this door. Why do we need to do that? Even if it shuts, we know how to solve the puzzle now. We could just open it again. Well, I suppose that's true. Shall all three of us go and collect Jun then? Nah, I'm cool. I'll let Junpei handle it. So are you only interested in being contrary? All right. I'll go get Jun. I'll be right back. Jumpy! Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine now. I'm sorry I made you worry. Uh, let me check. <gasps> Good. You're feeling a lot better. Are you sure you're alright? Oh, you're such a warrior, Jumpy. Oops, I mean, <laughs> warrior! <laughs> <laughs> alright, let's go. Go where? Oh, right. I didn't tell you. We got the exit open, so... Great! Let's go! Know how these oh, rooms it's... work. Just another Santa? one. What are you looking at? Hmm. It's a photo. It's my sister. Sister? Santa, you've got a sister? Yeah. Kid was cute as a button. Oh. Was? Oh. She was only about an inch tall then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I guess an inch is a little large for a button. Probably more like a half inch. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you looking at it? <sighs> I was her Santa Claus. Wait, what? We didn't have parents. They bought it in an accident when we were still kids. So I had to be like her dad. And that meant that I bought her Christmas presents every year. On Christmas Eve, I'd leave the present next to her pillow. And the next morning, she'd come running into my room with this big smile. Look, look, Santa left me a present. He got me that doll I really wanted. I'm so glad he got my letter. She was always so excited. I was the one who told her to write those letters. I'd say, write down something you want and mail it to Santa. The address I gave her was somewhere in Northern Europe that doesn't exist. Anyway, she'd write the letter and stamp it and send it out. And then a few days later, it'd show up back in our mailbox marked Address Unknown. I'd open the letters before she figured out they'd been sent back. Once I had the letter, I'd go around to a couple stores with some money I'd saved up over the year and buy her the stuff she'd asked for. It took a lot of saving, but I managed to buy her presents every year. Huh. Santa. But one year, her letter was different. She didn't write a list of toys she wanted or anything like that. Instead, it said, I don't want any presents this year. Instead, I want you to make my wish come true. My wish is that we'll be happy like this for a really, really long time. That was it. Nothing else. But I couldn't make that wish come true. Some Santa I am. What happened? She died. She was killed nine years ago. No. Oh. <gasps> All right, let's go.
She was the one who died in the nonary game. Oh no. Huh? Hey, what are you two doing? Let's oh, get moving, come on! Shit. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, you're finally back. Sorry we took so long. It's heating up. What the fuck Let's happened go. in that damn thing? And another room. Huh. Is this a warehouse? No, I believe this is the cargo room. This must be where they store all of this vessel's freight. There are wooden crates everywhere. I wonder how old they are. Well, we probably ought to start with finding the exit, right? Let's get going. Cargo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Don't be inside. What's your bags? What's in them? Oh. 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 Mm, that's... Mm. Mm. That makes me upset. Check the other bag. Bag. Santa. Santa Maria. Seven. seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Hey, wait a second. Notice. When you get all the cards? Ah, yeah. Jin. Jin. Bag. Lobo. Lobo. It's not here. Yeah, yeah. Is that everybody? Eight. What are we missing? Missing ace. Oh. Box. Okay, well, not messing with that yet. the first time that's happened. And now we open boxes. Now we finally have all nine picture cards. We just need to insert these cards into the slots at the front of each box. You know which card goes in which box, yes? Uh, yeah, of course I do. It's really obvious. You just match our numbers to the numbers, then you pop the corresponding card in the right box. So for instance, the card with the picture of Ace on it goes into box one, the card with the picture of Snake on it goes into box two, and so on. Oh, uh, I see. Huh? What is it? Hey, June, are you- I'm sorry, I, I gotta go check on her. You finish the box thing, alright? Shit, uh, um... Just put the cards in the boxes. I'm counting on you! Are you all right? What happened? Can you stand? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm fine. I just tripped. Don't give me that. Now is not the time. But it's true. I, I tripped over a box. Just let me see for a sec. Huh? You're still warm. I saw her fall. I think she really did just trip on something, you know? Still, to fall down like that? I think she's probably still a little messed up. All right, well, let's just get out of here as fast as we can so we can get you to a hospital. Oh, I don't think it's anything that serious. I just need a little medicine and some sleep, and I'll be fine. Medicine? Medicine, huh? Well, if we could get in touch with anyone outside, I'll bet Ace could swing that for you easy. Ace? Why? Huh? Don't you know? He's the president of a pharmaceutical company. 
No. 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 Cradle Pharmaceuticals is the name, I think. Well then. Their flagship product is an anesthetic drug called Soparil. And, 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 and what did he have when he sacrificed himself? Oh. Soparil. 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 I've heard of that before somewhere. Soparil. It's an anesthetic that's a gas at room temperature. A lot like how nitrous oxide is. It takes only a few seconds to spread, and even a small amount is very effective. A bunch of countries quickly accepted it for widespread use within their police and military forces. It was an effective crowd suppressant and room clearer. It was practical, ethical, and the humane nature of it made it the ideal drug. It's been around for about six years. They developed it from the extracts of several different roots. It became popular, demand for Soparil skyrocketed, and of course that meant Cradle Pharmaceuticals stock did too. Why do you know all of this? I heard it from the old man himself. From Ace? When? By the number four door at the central stairway, when we were searching the second class room. Remember how Snake, Seven, and you went to door five? It was back then. I asked him what he did for a living, and he said he ran his own company. Oh, oh. So we wouldn't have... Would we have got this if we went to the other door? Did we go to the other door already? Yeah, but in this timeline, we went to door five last. Mm. So that's the option that it picked. Mm. After that, we just started talking, and I guess it just came up, you know? Huh. Are you worried about something? No, nothing. Real pharmaceuticals. Uh... Hmm... What the hell is he doing? June, don't push yourself, all right? Yes. Santa, could you take care of her? I'll go check on Ace. Looks like he's having trouble. Sure. What are you doing? What happened? Nothing, I... My vision has gotten rather blurry, I think, because of fatigue. I can't see very well at the moment. What can't you see well? These pictures. I don't care to admit it, but I may be developing presbyopia. Growing old is a difficult thing. At any rate, I'll leave the rest to you. I'm feeling awfully tired, so if you don't mind, I'd like to rest for a bit. How could simply looking at cards have tired him out? Hmm. But if it wasn't, what had made him so uncomfortable? Prosopagnosia. Oh! Well, He's having trouble recognizing simply. faces. It means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. And we wouldn't have gotten this if we didn't go to that. In other words, my face, so they can't remember. That means that people... Maybe... Maybe he's got prosopagnosia? Huh. Well, he looks depressed enough to have it. Oh well. Time to solve the nine boxes puzzle. Ace's card is in box one. I just need to do the same... And finally, the ninth. Yeah! Oh, they opened! Nice. What the? Nine pins? I guess I'll take them with me. And then we put them in the thingy and the boom bitty the bump bump in. And the doink and the doinky. Hit him with the yoink and exploit. We just gotta get all the digital books. Six. 
six. Why am I blank? Why am I... Okay, hang on. Two. That's that's eighteen. So then plus two. Eight, ten, so then three. Right? Three. Keep Oh, brother. 
I don't have the brain capacity for this right now. I think we'll end it there. I've been player one. Wait, give me a moment. I'm. Let me. Let me cook. Let it, Let you cook. Let me cook. Pushmaster 5000. Oh, coffin. 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 Line up crates. Mm -hmm. Pushmaster 5000. Move in four directions. Now move back. Pushmaster 5000's move count exceeds the battery life, will be reset. Do not lift the oh, oh. 50 moves. So what are we trying to do? Trying to move to where we can get the coffin. But we gotta put these boxes there. I love sliding block puzzles. Shit. He's fucked. Yes. And push it in. And get the last one. Where do I push it to? That, that one. How?
open it. No. We remove Did get close. I, I think with that, we'll end it. I'm player one. I'm player two. We'll see you next time when we solve block pushing puzzle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.